What's up guys, it's about 6.30 a.m. We got the truck and trailer set up. We're going all the way up to Thompson, Connecticut once again, Thompson Speedway, to do the passing of the torch with Ryan Turk's FRS X gum out car to our good friend Diego Higa. We've already spent a few days in this car. It's been crazy. Ryan just had his firstborn child about four days ago, so his schedule has been super hard to get a hold of. Basically just gonna meet up with him at Thompson. I don't think we're gonna be able to do any any action, big truck, one second, big truck passing. Not sure if we can do any shredding with him. It would be ideal, although we can't ask for much. He's gotta be out there himself to sharpen his skills. And we're just there appreciating his time. He's giving himself a prep talk in the back seat. He's talking to himself right now. Self-confidence. Ryan's five minutes away. These homes are really nice and well done. Five minutes away from Thompson Speedway. Dude, I wouldn't complain living out here at all. As long as the garage was big enough. We're in. I feel like we were just here like yesterday. There he is, he sees us, bro. He sees us. Here we go. <laughs> Excited? Yeah. Yes. This is good. It's a big day. When we pull it out, the car. Let's go this side of the trailer, okay. right? And then when we get Ryan, we're gonna walk him around the side and the car will be. Okay, let's go. Hey, sir. Straight up, straight up. Go, go, go. We got it, yep. You're good. Good. <laughs> We're just here meeting up uh, with Ryan. This was Ryan's old car. Just yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Doing I the just wasn't sure because the pass the torch thing. Because Mike had told me that those two guys were coming, and I saw you guys put in. So even if you're not driving because yeah. you're going to be here, I just need everyone to sign. Of course, yeah, definitely, yeah. no yeah, problem. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. A little better day than Saturday, though. Huh? <laughs> it was fun, you know. Yeah, the I you think know, the the it's rain. A whole different level, but you know, it's the same thing when you're road course racing. The rain puts a whole different level of things and gets you actually better when you get to back to the dry. Cause it insane because it was the first day that, that Diego actually had a chance to drive this car. Yep. So Diego is, not undoubtedly, he is the the world's greatest, right now, um, Latin drift driver. Okay. So he hails from uh, Brazil. Yep. He's got his own drift school. And so this was, this was actually his first drive in this in car. car was Saturday in the wet. So <laughs> a thousand horsepower, yeah, yeah. pro car yeah. in the wet. Yeah. And we were just there as spectators. We're Ryan's plus one. And unfortunately, Ryan had his firstborn child that day. And yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. being as that they were, we was plus one. We weren't on any ticket, you yeah. know? So we came in and, and Michael had, had led us on the track until they warmed up to us at least. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we went out there and, yeah. and yeah, uh, a ran a couple of yeah. the, the other A group guys. It was tandems, looked, yeah. That was oh, yeah. pretty good. Impressive, yeah. yeah. It's cool, they're right. going to have some fun. Yeah. Make some noise again. Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come on. 
You want to see it? Dude, congratulations, Thank man. You. That Thank was you. crazy. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry, I'm just gonna keep this thing recording. Okay. Just be yeah. chill, relax, yeah. be yourself, bro. Yeah. How's the car running? Good? Uh, yeah, I think I fried a couple wastegate lines. So I think there's yeah. a small hole, so it's like, um, I don't know, it's just running a little funky in third gear under full load. Yeah, heard, so. it, heard it breaking up a little bit yeah. over in the back there. Yeah, so I just wanted that to That reverse stop. entry was pretty gnarly. It worked, I don't dude, know how. Dude. <laughs> I was like, yo, coming in hot, coming in hot. And my man in the Corvette, like, he could see it, like, he could sense it. Yeah. It's like, yo, my man is just yeah. going buck wild. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, she's, uh, I don't know if you've, you've heard, obviously, I sent you some photos. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's been out on the track. Yeah. This man has had less wheel time behind this than he's actually spent cleaning the car. <laughs> like, every time he gets it off the track, it is cleaned. They pressure washed it last night. Yeah. They're like, we got to yeah. make it nice for Ryan. Like, they took the wheels off, they jacked it up, yeah, the catch yeah, cans in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did a full yeah. fluids flush on it. Hell yeah. And it's just been the first day. I mean, we had it in, in the rain here on Saturday. Yeah, no issues, right? None. Yeah. None. So they we got in there, spectator bracelets only, right? Yeah. On super under the radar. They obviously knew what the car was, but they had no idea who Diego was. So they're like, we know the car. We know the ex-owner of the car was more than capable of driving it. However, we don't know this kid. And it's raining out, and he's gonna get on the track. He's a major liability. We want nothing, we want like nothing to do with him. So sure enough, after like running four, five, six laps of yeah. just us on the track, yeah. they warmed up to him enough that they were sending him out with people. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah. then uh, you could barely stick a piece of paper in between him and the other guys. Yeah. It was yeah. perfect. I mean, I was a little worried myself. I'm like, oh, we're gonna go out there and we're just gonna make a mess of a perfectly good car. But <laughs> I was, I was slightly dude. underestimating Diego's capabilities. But I mean, needless to say, he is 
super excited. This is one of one of his dreams to be a part of something in which, you know, it's he's been very successful over in Brazil. He's yeah, one of yeah. the most, you know, winningest Latin American drift drivers in the world right now, which is which is big. He was yeah. actually watching you guys chopping at the bit like, yo, can we get out there? I'm like, there's no, there's no guarantees. We're here just basically as a favor at this point. We'd spoke to one of the other track owners there and he's like, oh yeah, only two guys are on the track. We're like, well, that's not what we're here for. We're not here to double down <laughs> yeah. on anyone else's schedule. Yeah. But um, the yeah. car runs like, like you wouldn't believe, um, still perfect. We're going to talk to John Reed about the tune, small odds and ends. Um, we've got a fresh set of tires in the back. Yeah, dude, fires up. Uh, we ran, we ran the gauntlet. Hell yeah. Uh, on Sunday. I'm sure. I mean, this Sunday car, night. Yeah. We were over, over in Jersey the next day. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. We're Why? the next day, the gauntlet, just to get the shakedown, the, the hours, the timing over this thing. Cause he's, Wait, did you drive on Sunday too? Yeah. Where? At E Town? Uh, e Town, yeah. What? Saturday Sick. and uh, Sunday. So we've on? been Saturday, Sunday, took a day off, uh, actually two days off rather. Here we are with the car now, but we were running E Town until they shut the lights down, Damn. even running the gauntlet at night. And he's out there setting cones up like, Damn. I need to make it more challenging. I'm like, you're out of your mind. Like, he's got the headlights on. And yeah. it's, when it gets dark it's there, dark shit. you can't see yeah. the hand in front of your yeah. face, bro. I've got to, it'll put a smile on your face, guaranteed. I've got mad videos to just all this. Nothing but this. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh how dark this shit was. Like, what the fuck? He's crazy. There we go. Let's get some dark shit. Let's get some real dark shit. <laughs> There's some real dark shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, the light was adjusted, so it looks better on camera than it actually yeah. was. Hell yeah, dude. Swinging as far as we could until we yeah. actually went through the yeah. fences. But hell yeah. No, that's but yeah, sick, man, dude. she's here and, and we're super excited. We'll be 2022. The driver cutoff, as you know, was a little wonky this year. Yeah. But um. yeah, I feel like that came out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't know if there's any questions that Diego wants to ask. Yeah. Congratulations for your beauty because this car is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do miss it. Yeah. <laughs> this car is so fast, have a lot of power. Yeah, yeah. The build is perfect. The steering for me is very, very different because the fast and I don't know, but acostumada a soltar a mão nas transições e o carro meio que tem que ajudar não sei se sabe quando so, a velocidade ou ajuste yeah, his car when he leaves the hands the steering goes along mm -hmm. so that car you need help with this yeah. to, so do you have some truck some nothing that's like that so, we tried we tried everything it's just the way the car is unfortunately so I think in uh, the, the wise fab um, parts on this, this chassis, they don't have a lot of caster, yeah, so exactly. there's not a lot of self-steer yeah. in the car. Self it's really hard. There's a new WiseFab kit being developed. Mm -hmm. oh. Castro is running it on his car, <clears throat> okay. um, but it's not in production yet. So when that comes out, I heard it is night and day better for this chassis. Man. I don't know when it's coming out, no but... Yeah. yeah, but... Okay. Yeah. So this, you really just have to get comfortable. The way it is it's a different driving style you more drive into the angle you drive into it rather than doing a full flick só para não estragar o câmbio nas trocas de marcha ele pisa embreagem toda vez e puxa tem que dar um time yeah when you like when you take off from the start line i mean it's all set up to do a flat shift so foot on the gas and grab gears uh -huh. i always downshift with the clutch in okay. always clutch for downshift up, up gear the same Oh, going up? Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, just that's a feel. So first and second gear, when you're under wheel spin, mm -hmm. it doesn't like to shift as easy when you're flat shift. Uh, when you get up to like uh, third and fourth gear, it shifts no problem under wheel speed. Terceiro e quarto vai de boa Question about speed. that, the second gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. second gear is a yeah. problem. Yeah. So we don't pull hard for don't broken nothing before we talk to you. Yeah. Have some tricks to us. If you break this transmission, <laughs> you, you're doing something wrong. 
We've been running this transmission. Uh, we ran it for five years. Ele anda faz cinco anos. With no, absolutely not breaking one, nada, one thing. Nada. Nice. We'd send it to get serviced and cleaned up, Visto and they would nada. like, you know, look at the metal and make sure there's no cracks in the gears. Olha os metal Nothing. lá, nada, nenhum problema, tudo yep. 100%. Tem alguma coisa que eu devo me atentar, evitar uma quebra, alguma coisa no preventiva, alguma, alguma coisa que eu devo estar de olho sempre. Por exemplo, my, my my race car in Brazil have a, a little fuel cell. Yeah, the cells I need to check it uh, every time. Have a lap, gas. you need to check it for guys, for you yes. don't miss. Yeah, I mean, to have something look like that. People, oh, if you hurt something, stop it. Yeah. You have some trick about that, or the car just, if you have oil, fuel, yeah. just run. Well, I mean, matter. yeah, like you just be, be uh, pay attention to the dash. You can have somebody turn the uh, those safety things on, so uh -huh. if it does, have low oil pressure the one the biggest thing the scariest thing is this belt on the on the um, yeah, we dry sump if that ca comes off obviously you have <laughs> ass and problems yeah, so, yeah we saw that but we tried so, so that's do. that's the scariest thing and the best thing to do we Col tie we tie a little bit colton would be and it's it's kind of a double-edged sword right so mm -hmm. if you put a shield uh -huh. from the front bumper underneath and uh -huh. tie it tie it to the lower rad support uh -huh. so that that's all enclosed uh -huh. that would probably help if for anything coming up and getting into that belt but at the same time you're going to have shit potentially from coming down on it stuck and, in and then it's harder for it to obviously flee like mm -hmm. we haven't had an issue but mm -hmm. that has always been a concern of ours we tightened it a few times yeah we, we tried out there. Uh, you, there's we were a like it's it's got a sweet there's spot a, before there's a specific amount of tension it needs to have if you looked it up didn't no you need to because yeah. as soon as it heats up, it changes. <coughs> you know, I, yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I think when it heats, it actually can tightens up. Quando esquenta, ela mexe de tamanho, então não dá para botar. So we set it about as far as you can go before it's touching the actual the pump itself. Yeah, so this belt is like you can you can stick a business card through yeah. it, and that's about where her happy home is. Well, look up look up on the belt. Um, yeah, what tension per is. number? Yeah. Just um, just so you know exactly, because there's definitely a specific too much and it might ride one side of the pump yeah 100 percent. yeah because then you're gonna ride that shaft too hard yep. and then you know it's gonna burn it out the fucking bearings yeah um the other thing is they do walk on their rpm just because the way the belt's cut you know we were gonna put almost like a, just a because your guide right here essentially this is gonna keep it straight yeah but maybe just a small guide don't. or uh no no don't might do shear that the belt. if anything colton just mm -hmm. move this walk this thing out like an eighth of an gotcha inch. okay okay so that's, match, right? that's the only thing that you want to do perfect yeah so yeah that's that's the only real scary thing she's been good though man she yeah. really has about the oil change uh every uh, event weekend every so event. for fd we'll do when we'll do thursday friday saturday change oil okay so probably like maybe 40 50 laps maybe mm -hmm. what oil you recommend uh mobile one zero w50 the racing yep. oil racing not, oil. not oil. the not the off the shelf zero fifty. Gotcha. Yeah. So we'll change that out at the at the shop again. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. If you drove for it two days, change it. It's, we you know, it's got it a big capacity. It's, and it's we we're so running the anti lag, so she likes to uh, jump back in the into the system a little bit. Yeah. yeah we're yeah. we're learning. We're still learning. Yeah. But I mean, for the most part, she's been super resilient. Yeah. I mean, okay. just issue free and knock on wood no incidents i mean it's like yeah. the belts what we're doing is just indexing a lot of the parts to make sure that we have right. some of the stuff on the fly when we need yeah. it yeah but hgk right it's the big elephant in the room right now because obviously where they're located or guys getting parts out of russia right now or hgk shipping well they're in latvia so they're not oh gotcha the, they're okay. not in the in the war zone mistakenly they're freaking close labeled though. them yeah they're like one country away but yeah those dudes usually have stuff on deck like ready to ship that'd be great i'm gonna grab some spare parts stuff like that i know yeah. turbos you mentioned turbos go yeah, on this thing you want to you want a spare center section for the uh for that they actually came out with a better turbo for the 2j i think it's the it's like a hybrid of this, which is what we've always wanted, but we just never uh, they just didn't make it. It's just less lag. It's smaller. Part. Yeah. It's got a big um, compressor wheel and a smaller exhaust wheel, and um, it's like the best match for this engine. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. I'm forgetting what it's called right now, but I can send it to you. By Gary. Yeah. So it's a G line. Gary yeah. G line turbo. G line. So I'll just call them up, give them the number, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, this is the one we recommend." Yeah. Sweet man, yeah, she's been good. She has been really good, man. We are, we're psyched. He's 
Trust me, he's more than thrilled. We, yeah. We're gonna try to make it out to, to Long Beach just to spectate. Oh, sick. Just be in the crowd. Hell yeah. yeah. And uh, we've got a few good sponsors on board. Yeah, we're dude. trying to selectively pick and you choose our battles. You you know you gotta change this livery, dude. right? I do, for real. This is why we actually were here today because this will be one of the last times that you'll ever see this car in this, in livery. this livery. Yeah, so it's, and what we will do is we'll create a three-dimensional file of it, high fidelity and an NFT. So it'll be like right. the, like a, a real yeah. hardcore 3D yeah. model yeah. of it last time. So yep. depending, we might make one or two of them. We'll obviously give you the one of two. So you have one for, for your own little yeah, NFT yeah. portfolio, right? <laughs> but she's been solid, yep. man. She's really been solid. The, only, the that, other thing is, is you're probably going to want to get a spare uh, nitrous solenoid right. if you do put nitrous on the car. Mm -hmm. How often did you use the nitrous? Every time. Every time, really? Oh, yeah. It was just, it is was it, there when you needed it, like spool up turbo, stuff automated, like that. Yeah. Or you need to push the button? Uh, you need to push the button. On the side of the shifter? Yeah. yeah. No, it's, uh, it's on a keypad. I'll push. Which, which, which one? Um, oh, yeah, nitrous right Arm, here. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Sick man. And what size shot is it? I think like one one fifty or 100. something. One hundred. It's yeah. not much. Just we just enough. had it wicked the turbo yep. off the bottom. Yeah. So it comes on at three thousand, shuts off at like sixteen or seventeen psi. Mm -hmm. So about the oil. So we try um, to see the level. Although the level you yeah. look for about half can. Last nice time. We think it's a low level and put a one more can and then fill up the cash tank. So yeah. this happen or never? It happens. It happens. Yeah. So we need to dry each lap is better, right? The catch can? Mm. Uh if you have this filled to the right level, right like now it's good or not. It's, yeah, not, it's, it's, not it's like it's probably like a half quart to a full quart overfill. Overfill. Right yeah. Gotcha. You want it you want it basically at this level. Oh, well, okay. Let line. me see. And that'll help with the catch can. Situation. Okay, right now it's a car have a, uh, overfill, right? So that's what yeah. happened. Why that's the, that's overfill, yeah. That's why yeah. the catch can. Yeah, it's more. part part of the reason. Okay, yeah. And another thing is, where the, the correct place to do change your oil the, the plug? Oh uh, yeah, um, here. Have on board. You take for sure. It, for sure, you take. Oh no, the down. There yeah, should have on down. Yeah, this is the best spot underneath. Okay. Yeah, just this, right? So you go Just there, here. engine. Well, you can. Yeah, because yeah, we, you can we, do the we engine. We take down the oil yeah. paint or engine. <clears throat> yep. Okay. This is the, obviously the majority, majority of the oil, but if it you want to do the extra work to... We did it. Yeah. Prime the, uh, not prime the pump, but just by hand to yeah. drain yeah, it all out of the lines. Like we're... Take the hose and oil paint. You can also, um, you can get a uh, pulley for a drill. Yeah. Oh. And fucking oh, yeah, run, yeah, the run, it. Yeah. run the belt, run the pump, it'll get all okay, that shit Okay, you can face like one I'm so excited that this is, is back in action. He's super motivated. He's one of the guys, like, few drivers that you know that if, if the car's got to be in Texas tomorrow, he'll jump behind the wheel of the truck, sleep in the truck yeah. halfway if need be, <laughs> or just completely drive through. And just like, you know, just like this car, you know, it this car also deserves something great, deserves a win. You know, she's been on the battle scene with you since day one. Yep. It was like you and your career for the most part. This was the yeah, one. So this thing, this thing did a lot. This she, thing did everything. For yeah, me. she deserves, man. She deserves something, something great. So just sitting, you know, sitting amongst the other projects and cars that I have personally going on. I didn't, you know, it wasn't it wasn't fair. I didn't have enough time to to one devote to it, two yeah. the skill to drive this thing. I'll be real. You know, um, but Diego, like, you know, he visited and it just like uh, the first day there, I had no idea who Diego was. He was just his friends had called me up, mutual contacts like, hey, listen, we're going to swing by. Yeah, he's in the drift cars. You know, his name's Diego. This not he got. And I'm like, all right, not privy to the the Netflix stuff, not privy to any of the, the, the victories yeah. or championships that, that he's won or his driving that. skill. And I just, I pushed my schedule back to like, I think it was like 6.30 on a Sunday afternoon or something. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, yeah, these guys are car enthusiasts. So we all speak the universal language, even though 100%. we don't speak the I same know. language, right? <laughs> so we're going to let him in, bromance right off the bat. And I showed him around and he went like right over to this thing outside of like the top secret stuff I've got sitting over there or the because he wanted his office he to drive this yeah thing. and he he walks over <laughs> this I'm like it's not it's not the typical person you have 
you know, hone yeah. into shit like yeah. this. It yeah. takes someone like that knows like something it. about it. Yeah. And uh, his eyes lit up and just kept, it was like he was running laps around the car. And I said, yeah, you know what, it, it can be had, but, you know, first and foremost, it needs to go to the right home. It's just not, you know, I can't let it escape out of the jurisdiction and fall into, you know, just someone who's going to part it out or some wild know, shit, you know? know. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so here we are, I mean, three weeks, four weeks later, he, he was, he reached out to me through a friend of his who actually had to leave to Brazil. This okay. morning, he wanted to be here as uh, Diego's second translator. It's funny. He's, he's <laughs> got two, two <laughs> translators. And then they start battling each other, you know, for supremacy. It's fucking wild. So so um, he couldn't make it, but he reached out to me and said, listen, Diego wants uh, wants to try Formula Drift. This looks like the car that, that's capable of doing so. And I said, you know, Ryan believes the same thing. If there's any car that's kind of like outside of the Formula Drift lineup, that's kind of like gone outside the herd, a car that's got the potential of doing so, you know, with the right person behind the wheel, yeah, this it's it it's sure. this vehicle. So, and again, he's he's washed it as much as, more so than he's actually driven it just because of how excited he is and yeah. how much he loves this thing. So it's in good hands. You'll see it at like, Gambler, Pro oh, Pro Down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna see us at every race that this it will be accepted in because yeah. I know there's a few of them don't have an unlimited class allowed yet. Yeah. So it's anything. Well, I think Pro Pro Down split it up so you have street class or street yeah. car style and then a pro car. Gambler's working so. on an unlimited class. We yeah, spoke to right. Chris over at yeah. English Town, so he's working yeah. on that. And then for every event that this car can't be at, what we'll do is either track rentals, off days, ordering the tires because everything's like six months out for this size at least the 315 4018s well dude you can pull weight you can pull all the weight off the car and run a run a uh, smaller tire yeah. it's per regulation because we're only we only had to weight it up to run fd on that tire size mm -hmm. so you could arguably just take you know, there's like probably fucking 60 pounds underneath I that noticed. right I rear. Yeah. So you could uh, run like a 295 instead, but save yourself some money on That's tires. what we've got. We've got 295s on yeah. it now. He liked the way it performed with the 295s. Yeah, we swapped, we swapped them out quick, just in case. Yeah. Um, the 295s, and then what we'd like to do is, again, per regulation, how much weight can we remove based on that's depends the overall on what dimensions. you're competing in is rule book because i don't know if it's going to be the same as formula drift you know yeah but if you take that weight off, off uh, it'll definitely feel a lot lighter because mm -hmm. this thing does feel a little heavy yeah. i would honestly i would spring it up i would spring the rear 1k higher mm -hmm. i think we have fives on it you probably go to six and take we'll the weight off the car and then re um re corner balance it align it and mm -hmm. probably feel a lot better in the car as far as transitions and stuff because we always i always ran it too soft i feel that's what i would change but it was it's great when you're coming out of coming out of a corner i mean like you know, the weight once those 315s get hot i mean like yeah like dude, for, for lower uh speed tracks the setup's really good for the higher mm -hmm. speed stuff uh, it's a lot. Uh, it's yeah. a lot soft. It's like yeah. it just feels like it kind of mm -hmm. walks around a little bit. Yeah. yeah, we're we're definitely we're gunning for for 23, 22 again with the with the driver <laughs> cutoff. We still might if someone drops, then we might have the opportunity. To top um, in. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. he's got a few connections in with the higher ups at cool. Formula Drift. So if we get a driver drop around seven or round eight, then I it'll be out there yep. with the new livery sponsors, all that fun stuff. We actually have got a, the possibility actually really good solid full ride on on almost like an angel investor per se so yeah it's crazy so it'd be sick man in between things he's got a uh, drift school in brazil that he runs and oh, right yeah, yeah, yeah 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 this car's in good hands man it you know? sounds like it yeah, man. it's in good hands bro all right let me get on the yes. road we're gonna grab a few pictures you and yeah. diego let's danny it, grab the camera yeah. i know bro it's gonna be all right man it's gonna be, it's gonna be all right shed a, <laughs> shed a tear bro <laughs> Ryan Turk, we got Diego Higa, pass off, it's official as it gets. Oh, he's taking his shirt off. This isn't a fight, Diego, we're not fighting. It's no fighting. <laughs> Here, dude. Okay. Yeah, you're in the middle. Yeah, you're a star. Fuck, man, that's crazy.
Let's do it. For him. <laughs> Look to him. Cool. Fucking wild, bro. Thank you so much yeah, again, man. man. I'm sorry for like the last three days I was bothering the shit out of you. I feel like I was like, oh man. Because I knew when I had Liam, my son, it was like, bro, I yeah. I was down and out for for at least a week. Did they did they take him home yet? Oh yeah. Bring him home yet? Yeah, yeah. We got him home to what? Yesterday was it last night was our second night at home. So it's hard to break him into a day schedule. No, full nighttime boost. schedule. Yeah, he's on yeah, with yeah. every schedule yeah. possible. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Well, congrats again. Thanks, brother. She's in good hands. We're going to keep you two posted. I'm sorry. We might be a little bit of a pain in the ass for, for the short Maybe. term. Yeah, it's all for the greater course. the greater good of old homegirl here. Yeah, yeah man. Well, your firstborn child. <laughs> Honestly, uh, my first second born. born, actually. This is the second born. Yeah. What was the first? The pro card. My other pro card that it's I crashed. Uh, genetically, she's... Oh, yeah. She's 99.9. Oh, yeah. .9. yeah. Sick, bro. All right, guys. Well, All right. Ryan Turk, Diego Higa. Yep. We're nice getting meet that you. F out Two of brother. here. Brother again. Peace. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> One.